What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing Kilowattrel on the Regulation E ladder. You guys are in no deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But Kilowattrel is a Generation 9 Scarlet and Violet regional bird, and I absolutely love this Pokemon. An electric and flying type, and it is pretty strong on the special attacking and speed side of the stats. But our first Pokemon that we're going to talk about in today's team preview is going to be Hisuian Arcanine. And I feel like I've been using Hisuian Arcanine so much, but it is so strong and such a perfect Pokemon for ranked doubles, you really can't go wrong with it. This one has Intimidate with the Silk Scarf to boost normal type damage. So E Speed on this Pokemon is going to do a great amount of damage. And then we also have Rock Slide, Flare Blitz, and Protect. With the normal Terror type, I should say. Again, boosting E Speed. Rillaboom is in our second slot. And ever since Rillaboom got its Grassy Glide boost, it has been straight top here in the meta. It's got Grassy Surge with the Assault Vest, and then its other three moves are Wood Hammer, High Horsepower, and Fake Out. We got the Water Urshfu in our third slot with the Unseen Fist and the Splash Plate as its item. It's got certain strikes, Aqua Jet, Close Combat, and Detect, a fairly normal moveset for any Water Urshfu. Kilowattrel, the star of the show, is in our fourth slot with Competitive and the Focus Sash. It's got Thunderbolt for nice big time stab damage, Endeavor in case we actually use our Focus Sash and go down on 1 HP, and then we got Tailwind for Speak Soul and Protect just to protect the big old bird. Golden Go is in our fifth slot with good as gold and the choice specs. Make it rain, Shadow Ball, Thunderbolt, and Trick to actually hand off that choice specs to opposing Pokemon. In our final slot, we got Iron Bundle with Quirk Drive and the Booster Energy. We got Icy Wind, Freeze Try, Encore, and Protect. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Run to code is that top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on to rank double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this competitive Kilowattrel team. First match on its way, and I definitely want to use Kilowattro here in match number one. We're going up against a Zapdos and Gyarados team, alongside with probably Screen Scrimstrong, they got Hip Paladon, and they're also rocking out with Iron Valiant and Landorus. Okay, yeah, I'm going to leave Kilowattro here. I can definitely take some speed control if they want to go into Pokemon like Gyarados or Zapdos. I could just drop a nice big Thunderbolt, get off some damage that way, and really get after the match. But uh, Urshfu's going to be a great Pokemon here as well, so I definitely want to bring him alongside with Iron Bundle. I feel like I should lead one or the other here, right? Who should I lead? Do I lead the bundle? I think I saved the bundle. I think I saved the bundle. So I'm going to go Urshifu. I'm going to end up going Kilowattro here and then bring Iron Bundle in the back end with Arcanine or Willaboom. One or the other. I kind of like Arcanine, especially with first turn priority, but at the same time, Willaboom's nice because it does have Grass Guard and it has Assault Vest. High horsepower as well. Not bad. Not bad. But I'm going to go Arcanine. I'm going to go Arcanine. They don't really have too many physical attackers, but Intimidate on the physical attackers they have could definitely work wonders. So, like I said, I'm bad. I'm all bad. We're kind of hoping they're not leading Gyarados, but I wouldn't mind it because I don't want my Urshfu to get Intimidated. But at that point, if they lead Gyarados, I can just Thunderbolt it down. But we'll see who they end up leading. It's going to be Grimmsnarl and the Iron Valiant comes out here. Um, how fast is Iron Valley? That's a real question. He's not prankstered on the Grimmsnarl, so he could be fake out. Could be fake out. Definitely could be fake out. And I'm going to set up a Tailwind at, at this case. I'm going to Terrasize Water. I'm just going to look to kind of get rid of this Iron Valiant. I'm going straight Terror, right off the rip. Max number one for the video. We're going straight into our Terror type. So Water Terror, looking to get off just some big time damage with Urshfu. And uh, pick up a KO, because Iron Valiant's not that good for you either. And I knew it. You were a little fake out, monster. He's going to trick me too? You're going to take my Focus Ash? How dare thee? How dare you? You're going to give me a Choice Scarf. Okay, looks like we're swapping Kilowatt after this turn. So now I have Choice Scarf on you. You have Focus Ash. Urshfu's going to flinch, and this is where we hard swap Kilowattrel, probably into, I would say, just Arcanine works, right? Yeah, I don't mind Arcanine. I'm going to go into Arcanine here. I'm going to stick with my certain strikes, and I'm just going to drop it into the Iron Valiant slot. The fake out Frisk on the Grimstone. Really odd, right? You don't see that too much. This time you see Prankster, and then they tricked me and gave me a Choice Scarf, so... 
Valiant South sitting here with Sash. We're gonna hard swap our Kilowatch because he's choice scarfed at this point. And our opponent's got some cool stuff going on here. And now we're gonna bring out Arc. Arc Knight comes out here, intimidates these guys. Grimstone is physical attacking for the most part. And Iron Valiant's usually half and half. He ends up withdrawing it. Are you gonna go into Gyarados at this point? That'd be a very solid swap. Yeah, you're gonna go Gyarados. It's, that's a very solid swap. Gyarados comes out here for a big time intimidate. Luckily, my Urshfu hits with crits, so the attack drops don't really matter. But still, Gyarados can be able to soak up all day. He might party shot at me as well here, which would be the smart play. I mean, I do have Arcanine on the field with Tailwind. Rock Slide should be able to do a nice chunk of damage. We're just hoping he's not party shotting here. I know, he's just going for a Spirit Break. Oh, which is fine. You can drop my special attack. Not doing any crazy damage. The special attack gets dropped. I think we just rip with Rock Slides here, right? Rock Slide. And I will certain strikes. Actually, who's faster is the real question. I think Urshfu would be faster because you're like 160, 163, and you are 133. Okay, so Urshfu's going to go first, and I think we have to double down into the Gyarados. And the reason I say that is because I don't think just Rock Slide or Certain Strikes is going to KO. I really don't. So we have to withdraw on Gyarados. It's weird. It's weird. That's odd. And this actually might be good for us. This might be good for us. Let's see who they go into. This is great for us. This is great for us. This is beautiful for us, because now we can get rid of this Pokemon. Awesome. Awesome. Get this thing all out my face. Get it out of here. We don't have to deal with that. Cool. I'll take that all day. I'll take that all day. It's a good thing I did double down into that Gyarados slot. <laughs> Drop a nice big time surge of strength. Rock Slide's going to fly over here. Not do bad damage. Do we get a flinch? We do not. And he's going to constantly Spirit Break this slot down. I mean, we have speed. We're thriving here. We know who or what Pokemon he has. It's going to be Gyarados, who he probably gets back into. Yeah, he just wants to intimidate this again. And now we could hard swap into... Uh... We could hard swap... Into, say, Iron Bundle, which wouldn't be bad. You know what? Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to hard swap into Iron Bundle. I'm going to go for certain strikes into the Grimstarl slot this time. Because I know Iron Bundle could just handle that Gyarados. Plus, we have Kill the Watch in the back end to handle that Gyarados as well. So if I just get rid of the rest of the Pokemon and leave Gyarados on the field, I have other Pokemon who could deal with that. Awesome. Lovely. Boost your energy up. Intimidate Arcanine in the back end at full HP. At full HP. So Terra's going to come out here and maybe from Gary. It is going to be Gary. Going into a ground Terra. You EQing? What you got cooking here? What's the point of the ground Terra there? Dodge a rock side, is that your play? Imagine we certain strikes into Gyarados, that would have been awesome. But we're gonna be able to take out Grimstrong, no problem here. Certain strikes is just absolutely absurd, especially with a water terror. The damage boost is insane. You can take a bunch of attack drops too because they're guaranteed crits, and the attack drops do nothing when there's a critical hit on the field. So he's just super strong. He's gonna end up dragon dancing. I don't mind. I think uh Iron Bundle's still gonna be able to outspeed with its uh, boost energy. I can just go into a freeze try, finish that off, even with my tail when gone. And then just punch up onto the Iron Valiant slot. Yeah, this match is wraps. Wrap it up. Wrap it up, right? Wrap it up? I think so. Bundle. Just boost your energy speed, correct? Yeah, wrap it up. I don't care that you plus one speed. My Iron Bundle's outspeeding you all day, and freeze tries can KO. And certain strikes can KO this Pokemon right here. So, yeah, game set match. There's freeze try. Wrap it up. Game over. Game over, and I think we swept, right? Killer Watch didn't die. And Arcanine didn't die. My two Pokemon on the field didn't die. That's gonna be sweet. Unless it's close combat KOs. I spoke too soon, man. I spoke too soon. I thought you would be out speed, Nurse Man, we don't get the sweep. Iron B dies out to the close combat. But hey, I'll take the win all day. Surge Strikes comes across. I think two hits should be able to finish you off. Yep. Like I said. Pokemon's not that bulky, and Urshfu's hitting like a truck right now with the splash plate. One in order to get things started. GG's to our opponent. Second match coming at you guys, and this team that we're going up against looks awesome. They got Torterra, they got Arcanine, they got Scissor, they got Stantler, which whenever I see Stantler, I always think that they got some weird combo going on, right? They also have Milotic, and then 
Gothitelle, who can set the, uh, no, it can't do Parasong, but it does have Shadow Tag. The Shadow Tag forces me not to be able to swap, so Stantler's kind of scaring me. I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna sit here and sugarcoat it. Stantler is definitely scaring me. I think Urshfu is a great lead here, and I might double down with the Water lead. Fast Water Pokemon, they can hit hard. This one's also Ice, and Ice works wonders up against a lot of these guys, so I dig it. I dig it. I'm gonna go into both of them. Or I could go gold to go with the choice with the choice specs. I actually like that. I like gold and go. I'm gonna bring Bundle in the back end, and then last but not least, uh, I'm gonna have Kilowattro for late game. I just like having Kilowattro. I wanna showcase a little bit more here as well, because Kilowattro is the star of the show. Really cool Gen 9 Pokemon. They don't really get to see too much on the rank ladder, which I'm I wonder why, right? I mean, I kind of know why. There's just better Tailwind setters like Tornadus. But Kilowattro was great back in like season one. A lot of people were using it. It's a great Tailwind setter. It hits pretty hard. And its abilities are wonderful. They end up going into these two Pokemon. And ugh. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I'm just going to certain strike you down. He's not Intimidate. And I might just choice in the Thunderbolt here, right? I could go make it rain. I think choice in the Thunderbolt is going to be applied. Yeah, that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna choice in the Thunderbolt here. He ends up withdrawing Arcanine, which is totally fine. Totally fine. We're gonna be choosing into Thunderbolt. And he's gonna go into Torterra, which Torterra actually takes a decent amount of damage from water moves. Pretty bulky, but it's neutral on the water moves. So, I don't mind that damage. I don't mind that damage at all. I might be able to Thrasalize and KO that with certain strikes next time. I might be able to do that, but Thunderbolt's gonna fly here and just dump on the Milo with a crit. Get it on out of here. Love it. Love it. Big time crit coming out from the Golden Go. We're not playing around. We're not playing around. This thing is gonna have leftovers. And the real question is do I terrestrialize the Urshifu here? I could. I might hard swap and predict the EQ. The EQ is looking scary, depending on who they go into. Scissor. They end up going into Skizzy. I'm gonna certain strikes to Skizzy. You know, I'm gonna hard swap into Kilowatch over here. I'm gonna reset my choice scarf or choice specs. His ground move looking a little scary. Scissor could protect and they could go for an EQ, but certain strikes will still hit through to protect. I'm gonna swap into Kilowatch over here. Certain strikes didn't come out here. And it's hitting hard. It's hitting hard. Without the water tower, the water tower probably would have been able to. KO that. The water Terror makes it 10 times harder. Knockoff's gonna come out here, and he's gonna take off my Sash. And wow. The damage. Are you Choice Bandit? You might be Choice Bandit. You're gonna also Curse. You're gonna drop your speed. You're gonna boost your attack stat. Okay. That's fine. And your defense. That's fine by me. I could Endeavor him, to be honest with you. You might try to bullet punch me. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm just gonna protect you. I'll I'll endeavor the the uh, I'll endeavor the to tour tower next turn. I'll protect the kilowattle here. There's the bullet punch. Get that on out my face. Read that from 84,000 miles away. Out comes nice little certain strikes. So if you guys do not know what Endeavor does, Endeavor actually lowers the HP to what the Pokemon that use Endeavor's HP is. So if we, if they trigger, oh, we're probably going to die now. Oh no, we survived. Awesome. I was going to say, if they trigger our Focus Ash and we're down to 1 HP, that's why Endeavor is so good. We can just use it and bring down whatever Pokemon to 1 HP. But Torterra is sitting here with a defense boost. Sitting here with a defense boost, and they're going to bring out Arcanine. Which Arcanine could just first turn priority us. It's probably gonna do that. To be honest. But you know, I'm gonna do this, and I'm also just gonna go into an endeavor and just bring Torterra's HP down low here. He's gonna actually E speed me. Wow. Okay. Kinda dumb, right? The KO the Kilowatt. I thought you were gonna be E speeding the the uh, the Urshifu. For that reason right there. I should have just surgeon strikes at that point. And now he's gonna pick up a double KO. Okay. I see you. I understand. Double KO comes out here. We have these lovely Pokemon. And I think I'm just gonna ice you in here, right? 
Yeah, I'm gonna have the icy one here. I still have Terra though too, which I'll probably just try to slice the Golden Go and the Ghost. Yeah, well not Golden Go, uh, Iron Bundle and the Ghost. Probably works the best because then we won't take big time damage from Grass Boost, we can't be hit by E Speeds. Everything looking wonderful. So yeah, that's definitely more play. They probably gonna thrash slice the uh, the Torterra here as well, and I'm just gonna choice it to a Shadow Ball. Best bet, right? Shadow Ball. Yeah. Stab. Won't lower our special attacking stats. I like it. I like it a lot. Let's do it. Let's run. Run it up. Run it up. It's actually a solid battle. I love seeing like cool Pokemon like Torterra on the on the rank ladder. It's always fun. It's always fun. But I'm super surprised that East speed the the, uh, the killer watch I really am. I really am super surprised at that. I could like if I would have or if I wanted to bet on who they were attacking, I would put my money down on their or East speed in my Earth food. Earth food was just a bigger threat. And it shows why. Like they just let me trigger the focus ash and do some big time damage onto the uh, Arcanine. But I'm gonna terrestrialize, put that ghost terror on here, and you're gonna wide guard. Bad play. Actually, decent play. Because I'm using Icy Wind. Oh, this could get this could get ugly. This could get ugly real quick. Where are you? Are you flare puts in me? That's the real question. Are you flare puts in me? You're gonna go for head smash. Bundle dodges it. Pretty big that you dodged there. Pretty big that you dodged it. And that might have just won us the game. You dodging that. That is huge because another Shadow Ball will KO the, uh, the Tor Terror, and we're not going to risk it by going into another Ice Human. We're just going to stick with Freeze Dry. And then he can't go for E Speed on anybody. Pretty much wraps it up, right? Because Iron Bundle is a lightweight. He probably died in that Head Smash all day. Head Smash like base 150 rock move, stab. This thing could be Choice Band as well. You never know. You never know. It's hitting hard. It's hitting real hard. We'll see, but that's a big time dodge. Thank you, RNG. <laughs> Thank you, RNG here. Yeah, I think that pretty much wraps it up. You can't. We got two ghost types on the field. Loving it. Love the dude. The ghost types are so good in the, in the meta. Ever since this game been released, like the Terra ghost type is just massive. It's so big. But he ends up just protecting the Arcanine. And that's fine by me. Uh, like I said, Golden Ghost should be able to do enough damage just to take out to a terror. Her terror speed is in the dumpster. And that should just KO you, right? Good game. It's gonna be game. And we just double down in Arcanine. He can't KO any of us in one shot. Plus, Iron Bundle's gonna be able to outspeed. And that's the ball game. That's the ball game. We're gonna go 2 0 here. Our opponent probably just cancels the battle, but I feel bad. Like, if that head smash would have KO'd. They had a hot shot at winning this match. They had a hot shot at winning this match. But that's the risk you take with using head smash. It's actually like 70 to 80. You're going to miss them every here and there. So it'd be like that. It's like running Hydro Pump. You know you're going to miss Hydro Pumps every here and there. But when it lands, it's always some big time damage. It's always some big time damage. But our opponent's thinking this one out. I think they're thinking of possibilities they can win this match. And there's just, I think, little to no possibility that they win this match. They're gonna need us to miss attacks. All this crazy stuff to happen. And he just ends up protecting. I think he protects to kind of see what we want to do here. But we're gonna do the same thing next turn. Right? This arc and I can't do anything to win this game, right? No, it's all one HA. No. We're just gonna we're just gonna spam A here. Click freeze dry, send it, shadow ball, send it. No problem. No problem. Give me that victory. Stop making my life hard. I got things to do today. End the battle. <laughs> GG's to our opponent, though. There's, like, overthinking here. Just accept the loss. You lost. Hand it in. Give me my victory. Push my rank up in Master Ball tier. <laughs> Imagine the Arcanine pulls off some crazy thing where it actually wins. I'll be like, oh my lord. Dear Neptune. But no, yeah, like I said, there's, 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 there's no chance of our opponent winning this match. Wrap it up. Dun -dun. I think this is their plan. 
I think this is their plan. To try to get me to quit. Is that the plan? Like, maybe this person has to leave in five minutes. If I waste out five minutes, they'll turn off their console. <laughs> that, that's their plan. That is their plan to try to get me to quit. But double protect lands. Kind of annoying. But I'm going to do the same thing. I, I'm going to do the same thing. What they don't know is Jeans is recording right now. And he's trying to get a win for the community. So, I'm not going to quit. It's not happening. You're not winning this battle. I'll stay here for 55 hours. All right, 55 hours, a little exaggeration, but I'll stay here for, for a good 30 minutes. I'll stay here for a good 30 minutes, and probably if it hits the 30-minute mark, I'll probably be like, hey, we've been here for 30 minutes already. We might as well stay for an hour. <laughs> we, we can go all day at that point. We can just go all day at that point. I feel bad. Our opponent really wants this win. Maybe I should just quit. If they land a triple protect, I might just quit and give them a win. Because they want this win probably more than me. I already showcased that I could win, but they go for the triple protect, and it fails. Get on out of here. Thanks for wasting my time. See you later, Arcanine. GG's to our opponent. That was a fun one. We'll go hop to a third, look for that perfect record. Final match is here. Going up against top tier meta squad. Fluttermain, Urshifu, Shen Pao, Tornadus, regular Arcanine, and Landers. All top tier of the meta. We're going to lead our Kilowattle to try to get after it, right? I like Kilowattle here, especially for speed control. Plus, it'll be super effective onto a few of these Pokemon. Two of them. Urshifu and Tornadus. So, leading Kilowattle is not a bad call for me. Um, in the back end, I might lead Robum here as well. Do I go Robum? Or maybe I lead a Pokemon like Arcanine. Intimidate on a lot of these physical attackers. I actually really like that. So, I'm going to go Arcanine here. I'm going to go Kilowattle. I'm going to bring... Urshifu? Yeah, Urshifu in the back end. And then probably the bundle. Can't go wrong with the bundle. The Iron B? Can't go wrong with the Club Penguin over here. Love it. Is Delibird a penguin? Is it a penguin? I don't know. I don't know. I kind of hope it's a penguin. It looks more like a penguin than anything, but it kind of looks like a like an Arctic bird, right? Like some sort of Arctic bird that maybe I'm unfamiliar with. Maybe I'm unfamiliar with the Arctic birds. But still, Lando's gonna come out here. I'm gonna intimidate him. He's gonna intimidate us. Um, do I tailwind turn one? Yeah, probably. I got focus ash. I got competitive boost, though. Whew. We love the competitive boost. We love the competitive boost. And we're gonna intimidate him as well. So I'll get competitive with it. We like that. And from here, I'm gonna set up a tailwind. Because he's probably gonna set up a tailwind. And speed's gonna go fairly similar. And you know what? Um. I might just hard swap you at this point. Maybe throw in the Iron B. Maybe the Earth Spin. What's your speed killer watch? You should be rather fast, right? Oh, yeah. Rather fast is an understatement. We're going to go into Earth Spin here and set up Tailwind. So I'll save my Arcanine for late game. I don't think he's going for a Bleak Windstorm this turn. I really don't. I think we're gonna go Tailwind for Tailwind. Yes, cool. So that's why I swapped into Earth Speed. Could see a Rock Slide come out here. And we are gonna see a Rock Slide come out here. Which, um, oh, Earth Speed dodges. Kind of watch should be able to soak, which does. No flinches allowed. Cool. So now Tailwind's out and about. And Killer should be by far the fastest Pokemon on the field. And now I can just drop a slick Thunderbolt there. And a Surgeon Strikes into the lane slot. Because Urshfu might be faster than Lando. Urshfu's up at 163. Which is massive. And Kilowattles should be faster than... Yeah, than you. So if you're not sash, you're going. Cool. Kilowattle. Love you. Plus two on the special attack right here. With the competitive boost. Now Urshfu should be able to outspeed. And get rid of you. Perfect. Perfect, baby. Loving it. Loving the bird, dude. The Kilowattles is awesome. No watch was just a massive seagull. You ever be down at the beach? I'm from New Jersey, so I call it like when I'm down the shore. The seagulls are all over the place down there. There's some big seagulls. And that's what Killer Watcher looks like. A bulked up seagull, right? Like you ever walking on the beach like, dang, that seagull's beef? He had a few too many french fries. That's what Killer Watcher looks like. But Killer Watcher looks like he kind of hit the gym a little bit though. He looks like he's got that weight on him, but that muscle weight, you know? You ever see a big guy who's like, dang, that guy's a strong guy. That's what Killer Watch looks like, but in Seagull form. <laughs> but, but Arcanine comes out here, and Urshifu is here as well. Um, 
I think I just Thunderbolt you and uh, I'm just gonna detect and get a read on this. Cause I think they might throw Astralis here. They don't. Wow, I should have certain strikes. I should have just certain strikes. Each speed's gonna come out here and finish you off. Now you get off a free shot. Are you close combating me? That's getting ugly. You are close combating me. Okay, so your defense is gonna be down. Um, they still have Terra. I'm really surprised they didn't use it there. Come here, I'm just gonna intimidate him. Nice, lovely intimidate. I'm gonna terrasize Arcanine here. He does have E speed, which is looking rather annoying, but I'm gonna terrasize you. I'm gonna E speed the Urshifu. And if I can pull off Surgeon Strikes, I'll try to pull it off. We still have Iron B in the back, which is great, but out comes the Terra. Are you normal Terra? Are you, are you just like us? Oh, you're going Urshifu Terra. Water Terra for Urshifu. I don't like that one bit. Not one bit. Not one bit. Maybe I should terrestrialize the bundle, save it for the bundle. But I want to get off some big time damage, especially with this normal Terra. Just maybe, just maybe we could soak up a certain strikes. I don't know. This thing's gonna hit hard, because he's E-speeding me all day. With his Arcanine. My E-speed's gonna fly here. It's that, that's some damage. We like that damage. And Urshifu eats up. Lovely, lovely. So now we get rid of the Arcanine. Okay, that pretty much wraps up the battle. Because Urshifu has no double hitting moves. He's down to 1 HP. <gasps> Never mind. You got Rocky Helmet KO'd me before I KO the Arcanine. Rocky Helmet KO'd me before I KO the Arcanine. No shot. I'm losing to a Rocky Helmet. I just lost to a Rocky Helmet. I love it, though. That's awesome. <laughs> Cause yo, right, ready? We'll, we'll think about this. We'll think about this. Say that Pokemon doesn't have Rocky Helmet, or say I get off one more hit. Say I survive the first Rocky Helmet. Urshifu KOs to Arcanine. Then his Urshifu KOs my Arcanine. And then I have my Urshifu, or Urshifu could even be dead. Versus the Iron Bundle. Actually, yeah, no. And then Iron Bundle just outspeeds and KOs the Urshifu. Wow. That sucks. Only if I had Terror type too. I should have. Should have maybe just kept my terror type because he's gonna close combat into me and you're gonna e-speed into me. The ghost terror type would have been perfect. Would have been muy perfect. I mean, I could go for Icy Wind, maybe Icy Wind can with Urshifu, but I think e-speed and e-speed's gonna do more than half, right? So if I were to go into, say, a free strike here into Urshifu to KO him, Arcanine's probably doubling down with e-speed this turn, e-speed next turn, and I think it does half damage the first turn, half damage the other turn. But he ends up protecting. Come on, play. Look at the KO with the icy one, but you're not going for E speed. I mean, Freeze Drive wasn't KOing regardless. I'll take a speed drop. And Fire Blitz. Damn, looking good. Recoil. Let's try to not going for uh, E speed. But we lose this match all day long, right? Yeah, I'm just going to run this one. Unless, you know what? No, no, no. But we'll stay in here. We'll go for Icy Wind. We'll go for Icy Wind. They're not going for East Speeds. Can Icy Wind KO the Urshifu? It does. Hold up. Wait a minute. Why aren't you going for East Speed? East Speed Aqua Jet. Play rough. If e speed doesn't KO me, we win. We won. I was about to run. What were they doing this whole time? They had that match in the bag. They blew it. They blew it. We're three and oh, we'll take that all day. We were about to run that battle. But I stopped myself. I was like, you know what? We'll play it through. And we ended up winning. Not one, not two, but all three wins in today's video. Probably should have lost that third one, but hey, we'll take it. That's why you should always play out all your battles. But Kilowattro in regulation, he absolutely lit it up. Like I said, we went 3-0. That Pokemon, I think we used it in every single battle. 
a lot of fun using it. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.